I'm Dominique Moran, and with co-authors Jennifer Turner and Helen Arnold, I published a paper in the Howard Journal entitled Soldiering On, the Prison Military Complex and Ex-Military Personnel as Prison Officers, Transition, Rehabilitation and Reform. In this paper, we advanced the new concept of the prison military complex as a means to initiate examination of militarism in relation to institutions and practices of incarceration. We think it's important to do this because we argue that although there's been excellent scholarship of the relationship between the military and crime, there's been very little systematic consideration of the many points of interpenetration between the military and prison, such that there's neither a comprehensive inventory of these connections nor an overarching theorisation of this complex relationship. Hence, we argue, key aspects remain critically under-researched. In the paper, we do two things. First, we propose and explain the prison military complex, which we intend as a means of structuring discussion of the nature of militarism and its relationship to the prison system. Consideration of the prison military complex brings to light the numerous connections between prison and the military. One is senior leadership by ex-military personnel, such as Alexander Patterson, and indeed the current prison's minister, Rory Stewart. Other connections between prison and the military include military backup for prison management, the presence of veterans in custody, military prisons, and military ranks and insignia for prison officers. There's also a notion of military discipline, which is widespread in academic press and policy discourses, often with very little critical engagement. In the paper, we use prison military complex to describe the multifaceted interrelationship between prison and the military. To demonstrate the utility of this concept, our second purpose in the paper is to talk through the prison military complex in relation to just one example, the experience of ex-military personnel employed in the prison system. We're interested in this because as academic researchers who've interviewed many prison staff, we're often struck by how often we hear about service in the armed forces taking place prior to joining the prison service. Although we're now used to hearing this, we were surprised to find that very little research had focused on the potential significance of this military experience. It seemed puzzling to us that although the challenges faced by veterans in custody have, been, have received widespread research attention, the other route into prison as prison staff has been largely overlooked. In the paper, we draw on the conceptual thinking behind our ongoing research on this topic to explain why we think the military experience of some prison staff merits attention. First, a lack of data means that almost nothing is known about the proportion of the prison workforce who have served in the armed forces, how this may have changed over time, and how recruitment might have tracked periods of military demobilisation, or shifts in thinking about the importance of discipline in the prison service. Second, the lack of research attention means that we know very little about the ways in which military experience influences recruitment, training and deployment of ex-military personnel as prison staff. What difference does it make to have had a military background? Does it help in working with veterans in custody? Does it bring particular leadership qualities? Is it linked to a focus on discipline and security? These questions become sharper when we consider the recent recruitment campaigns for ex-military personnel to join the prison service. In 2016, Liz Truss said of intended military recruits, who better to instill the virtues of discipline? Who better to show what you can achieve in life with courage and integrity? While such policy rhetoric draws attention to virtues of armed forces leavers, they are argued to straddle a hero delinquent divide. On the one hand, fated for their courage and integrity, but on the other, considered at risk of descending into criminal behaviour that can lead to incarceration. In the paper, we therefore also consider the role that prison work plays for armed forces leavers transitioning out of military life. Research suggests that this is a challenging period and some can feel lost without the support of the military family. Some choose post-military careers that remind them of military life through uniforms, hierarchical organisation and a focus on security. For these individuals, it is argued, such careers replace the military so effectively that they never really transition to civilian life at all. Bearing this in mind leads us to conclude the paper with the question that we seek to address in our ongoing research. How military is prison? What is the extent of the prison military complex and what are its implications? Considering ex-military personnel as part of the prison military complex leads us to ask how they are expected to soldier on as prison staff 
by injecting military discipline into the prison service whilst themselves transitioning out of military life. If you'd like to know more about the research that we're undertaking, please visit our website, prison-conflict-military.com. Thank you.